fellow sports fans and welcome to this edition of the Cavalier Sports Report. I'm your host Anthony Juarez and I'm sitting down with track star Sean Smith. Thank you for joining me today Sean. No problem. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Alright, you're a freshman this year. What was the jump from high school to college track like and how did you adapt? Well the jump was that not everyone's trained, everyone's been a state championship of some sort so it's more competitive in high school is more of on your own and then you know with your high school coach and it's like for two months in college it's all year round they're always on you and training you so there's no really no break it's just like playing football at somewhere else but it's track so a lot more training. Johnson County does such a good job of recruiting locally what's it like having former teammates or former people that you played against in high school on the same team knowing them personally? It makes them more comfortable and easy going I mean they're still gonna be competitive but you know more people and you kind of like seen them since junior high, high school, now in college, college. So it's a good experience. You know about them, and it just makes it easier to be around and not nervous. Can you use that as an advantage if you're competing against them? Yeah, because if you already know their personal times and, and like what they can and don't do, you kind of you know you think about that. So just keep in mind. Being a sprinter, you work with Coach Ryan Stanley. How did he help you make the process coming from high school straight into college a little bit easier? And what does he do personally with the sprinters? Well, personally with the sprinters, he's on us and tells us about technique and doing little things right. And with me, I'm not going to lie, at first he was on me because I played around a lot and didn't take it serious. And he was on me, so he was always in me. Not in me, like, ugh. he was always on me about that. And he's very tolerant of me, so he told me what I need to do to step up. And he's, he's been on me, so it's helped out a lot. Going into each race, what do you personally do to prepare? Personally, at first, I used to warm up really, really early, and I look nervous, but I'm not. I just overdid things. But now that I'm getting older, he told me just warm up, like, at least 30 minutes before a race, but, like, with an hour, you kind of jog around. So I kind of relax at first, listen to my music, do all my warm-up drills, put my spikes on, then get ready to run and just think positive thoughts and just run my race. Going into all that preparation, do you have any superstitions that you have to do before each race, or is it just laid back and you go go at your own pace? Well, it's getting more laid back, but I still have certain superstitions, like with I have to do all my drills at least twice, and then I have to do them all the right way. If I feel like I'm slow in one of the drills, I have to redo it, but other than that, it's laid back. So going into each, each different race, do you ever run into players that you ran against in high school, and what's it like if you do? run into certain people that you know personally? Well, um, Barton, I know a couple of their athletes. I ran with Oliver Bradwell, and he was on my summer track team, so I know all of his times, and he's fast. So, you know, we say what's up, but once we get on the line together, it's time to go. We're enemies. So. And then, like, I race with Alex a lot because we make finals. So, you know, it's fun as I see him in practice, but we still want to win. So it's a good experience, but, you know, it makes you want to beat them more as you know who they are. But after that, you're still friends with them. With you and Alex, being from the same school, what's that like, you know, knowing you want to win personally, mm -hmm. but if he wins, it's still good for your school. What is that like? Because track is not like any other sport where it's a team. So a lot of mm -hmm. it's very personal. So what's that like? It's like, you know, it gets confusing, but you still want to root for him when you're not running against him. But And if he does good, you know, if you run your race, he still beats you. I mean, either way, you're putting Johnson County on the map, and it's a good thing. But you still want to win. But either way, if you guys take top five each each week in like a meet, you know that you're doing some right. And when you see each other in practice, like if I lose him, I'm going to want to beat him in practice or keep working hard. And if he loses me, he's going to do the same. So it just keeps us on our feet and pushes each other. So it's a good thing. What type of friendship do you have with Alex Sanders? Both of you are extremely fast. You know, do you hang out a lot off the off off the track, or is it just on the track? And you guys are close. Well, it's on the track because he lives in. Raytown, Missouri. I live out here in Olathe, so I mean, when we see each other, we hang out a lot at the practice and the meets. But if he lived closer, we would. But we t we watch we like football. We we love Florida football. We always send texts, and I call him Reebok. He calls me Nike. I mean, he doesn't like to call me Nike, but we have all these. J we're really joking. We're like Terrell Owens and uh, Ocho Cinco. That's the kind of relationship we have. Now going back to knowing the people you're racing against personally. Um, track is such a fast sport and just half a second is a huge difference. What kind of advantages do you have knowing who you're racing personally? Well, it's more of a psychological thing. Like if you know you beat the person before, you don't have to really worry about, oh, I don't know if they're going to beat me. Like you already have that confidence, well, I beat them. But if they have beat you, it's still going to be in the back of your mind, in which that could affect your race form. I mean, even if you are fast in that time, but if you think about it, you can just tighten up or just not run your race. But 
it all depends on your mind and then it's advantages they just comes from your training and you doing the right thing from eating sleeping and training right Johnson County is blessed with such a tremendous indoor facility in high school you know a lot of track is outdoors mm -hmm. you compete indoors here in, at Johnson County so what's it like knowing that you're gonna have a climate controlled indoor facility and you don't have to go outside in the freezing temperature um, in the early spring it's a good feeling because you know when you go to practice you know you still dread it but you know well at least we're gonna be indoors a good facility um, you can use blocks and it's a track surface so that always makes you know a little bit more exciting to practice but in high school like you had to run in hallways then sometimes they didn't make you run outside just to do it for the longer workouts and that sucked so take advantage of what we're training in and say it's not so bad because it's, it's only going to help me better because I have a good facility. Wednesday March 2nd you leave um, for a big race touch on that and how excited you are for this upcoming race. I'm excited because I've been training hard and it's the last indoor meet and I want to make a good mark and win in something so or do my best and it's going to be at Texas Tech and there's going to be a lot of competition so ready to do something really good, me and Alex, and go out, we're gonna be racing against each other and hopefully get some record in the 55 or the two. All right, last question, we gotta finish with this because all speedsters are asked this, you know, from football, baseball, soccer, all the way down the track. Mm -hmm. Who is the fastest person on your team? It's really close between me and Alex. Right now, he's faster than me in the shorter races the 60, we're .04 off, but in the 200, I'm up there, I'm, I'm the fastest right now, so we'll see after this weekend and I can answer that question, so. It's kind of funny, he was in and he said that you were faster, and so both of you guys, you know, you touched on how close you were. Is there also some sort of, you know, mutual respect towards each other, both of you being so fast? Yeah, as we, we know, we've seen each other train, we know each other's high school stats, and when we go and practice, we keep that in mind. And we know if we slack off, we're going to look really slow and get embarrassed. So we always got to be on top of our game, and we push each other in practice to get better. Then come meets, that's when we see how's practice been working out and hopefully who advances. All right. Well, once again, thank you, for track star Sean Smith, for joining me today. Make sure you catch future shows for more Cavalier insight on the sports. I am your host, Anthony Juarez, for the Cavalier Sports Report. Thank you for joining us.